y'all, it's your girl, everyone, and I'm back today with another video. As you see by the title, this is my first video of 2022, um, and we're like 15, 16 days in. I know, I'm horrible. Um, but I spent a lot going on. I had some changes, good changes, you know, right into the new year. So, um, I just want to come back and do like a little update where I've been, what's been going on in my life. So, as I mentioned, we like mid through January. <laughs> y'all know my birthday is in January. I'm an Aquarius, as you all love to hate us, but you love us. Um, I'm an Aquarius and my birthday is January 29th, which is my golden birthday, 29th on the 29th, period. And y'all know like I do something every year for my birthday since I've been on YouTube. Wow, that's crazy because I spent a few birthdays on YouTube. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm 29 on the 29th, and my people is coming down here, and you know, my sister is coming, my best friends are coming, um, my homegirls, and then, you know, Eric and them, they already live here, so this is, like, the first time of, like, everyone actually meeting each other. April is coming from Memphis, um, so, like, like, it's like they've met a few people, but, like, everyone hasn't met each other. Like, I feel like the only person who's met everyone is Ashley, cause she's at every birthday. Um, but yeah, um, I can't wait. I got some activities planned. Like I have, they come in that Friday, leaving that Sunday. I have things planned out that full weekend, even though it's really two days, but it's two days full of things. So we don't have it. It's gonna be lit, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be number good vibes. Um, I'm just really excited for this birthday. Like I'm getting older, like I'm turning 29. Which is a big deal, but 30 is gonna be even better. So that's why I decided to spend my 29th birthday here in Atlanta, and then my 30th birthday I'll be able to like play it like full on. I like I'm. I don't know if y'all know this about me, but like when it comes to planning and stuff, like I take it very seriously, like very seriously. I hate things that are unorganized on trips. That's like a pet peeve of mine. So I try not to provide those same frustrations when I have guests coming to visit. So. Um, so other than that, that, that's what's been going on my birthday. I feel like my camera's pretty good. Still got my Lori Harvey sweat, so I love these jokers. That's like an old woman. But, um, I've been trying to lose weight for my birthday. I only lost five pounds. Five pounds is better than enough. So I'm gonna take it. And I only got two weeks left, maybe I can lose like three or four more. But, um, Anyways, outside of my birthday coming up, I left my previous job and moved on to something else. Um, an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, I don't want to speak too much into it, you know, but just know it's like an opportunity of a lifetime. Um, well, I guess I can speak into it a little bit, a little zip, little zip zabble. So um, I left a company that I was with only for like six months. But that company kind of like started like my recruiting career in a way. Like if y'all don't, if y'all don't know, I'm a recruiter, and um, the company I left started that career for me because I took a leap of faith and I took a contract position, and I did that and it worked out well. But then COVID came, lost my job, as y'all remember. But that was the job they started for me as far as like, like really, really in recruiting. So um, did that, bounced around like two jobs in between there before the job I just left. Um, and I was here at that job for like six months. It was cool. Learned a lot in the short amount of time. Um, and not knowing that, that this last job was gonna open doors to where now I have companies like Facebook writing me, companies like Amazon. And um, I, I took another, I left the position, I'm saying all this to say, I left that position as a tech recruiter to go on to a new position um, as a recruiter, but not in tech. Um, tech was great, but tech is very hard. Um, not that it's very hard, it's just, it was a lot of challenges within that position that I just really wasn't for. Um, so as I mentioned, it opened doors for like people to be writing me from Facebook and Amazon and the big companies like that. So I am on a contract position and it's one of the the world's largest search engine. Let's just say that that's the contract that I want. So um, you think about that and then you put it together in your mind. Um, so yeah, I'm on a contract with them and like that's amazing. Like 
I wasn't even looking for a new job, but you know, sometimes things just come when it needs to come and it came like right around like Thanksgiving time, I want to say, but um, things took a little bit longer for me to get on board, but I, I started like right when the New Year started, so that was great. So let's go in like relieved and like, the other job was cool, but I was starting to get like drained in a way. So it was good to start this year off with a fresh start and then I was off for like almost two weeks of the end of the year and before starting the job. So I had a good amount of time to be off to reflect, decompress, um, just pray and like talk to God honestly and um, you know, just prepare myself for what's to come and the opportunities that this position right here can land me in. But um, nonetheless, I'm definitely grateful and I'm excited about the opportunity. And moving on from that, um, I'm just like, I know it's been, I'm kind of like all over the place, but I don't want to make this video too long. Um, I want to make it kind of quick and straight to the point. Um, I had a lot of goals for this year. I wrote them down last year, like, and I wrote them down and I'm actually like looking more into it. Like I'm reading them every day. Like I'm trying to manifest these things. So I just, I'm just really excited about 2022. Um, no bad vibes over here. Um, I'm still single, <laughs> which um, at this point I am, I've always loved being single, but um, I'm not even no longer dating. Like I've had my fair share of that last year. Um, and I'm, I'm just, um, it, it has been working out. So I'm just gonna let that come when it come and worry about what things I need to focus on, which is me and my life and my content. And you guys, of course, um, building out other platforms and stuff like that and getting this money. Like that's the main concern, getting this money. Uh, I mentioned in my vlog that I'm gonna release after I upload this video that I wanna take makeup more seriously. Yeah, so I'm excited. I'm excited, but yeah, I'm done with dating. I'm just, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So, until it gives what it's supposed to give, I'm cool. So, don't approach me unless you're serious. Don't come with me in no games. Yeah, that's just what it is. Um, I had put these in my phone, like my things that I want to talk about, like, New job, done with day and content. Um, I want to know what y'all want to see from me as a YouTuber and an influencer, an uh, upcoming influencer. Let me know in the comments below. Um, follow me on Instagram at I'm Erin Monique. Follow me on TikTok because my TikTok has been performing pretty good. Um, my I've been posting like full videos on TikTok because I'm always ready. Um, but yeah, that's the base of my TikTok. And I'm, I'm incorporating other things, but TikTok has <laughs> told me, girl, your lane is things to do in Atlanta. So that's my lane on TikTok. But um, other than that, um, I want to thank y'all for watching this video. See y'all in the next, in the next, because they coming. I'm dropping two this week. And yeah, let's get it. I'm ready.